Next, we're going to try a scatter brush. So I'm going to go to my artboard menu down at the bottom here and go to the next artboard. And we've got this sort of nighttime silhouette in here. I'd like to add some uh, stars to the sky. So if I show you in the brushes panel, we do actually have a star brush that's been made and added in here. It's called Starry. But we can't see it because the brush itself is white and the background for our thumbnail in there is white as well. If I go to Illustrator Preferences User Interface, and once the dialog box appears, we're really working with the brightness values at the top. If I change it to dark, you'll notice that it changes the background color ever so slightly on our brushes. And because it's darkened it down ever so slightly, we now can see that bright white brush shape. And I'm going to change it back to light. But if you do find that some of the artwork for your brushes can't be seen because it's very bright, then it could well be down to user interface brightness. Now, in our case, we've got nothing to apply it to. So I'm this time going to go and tap the B key on the keyboard to reach the brush tool, which is shown just here, the brush tool. I'm going to go over to my brushes panel and then hover over and left click on my starry brush. Now, this is what's called a scatter brush. So if I hover my cursor just off the edge of the artboard and click and hold down the mouse, the mouse gestures are exactly the same for a paintbrush as they are for a pencil tool. Keep the left mouse button held down and drag like so. When I reach the other side, let go of the mouse and we get some stars scattered along either side of my path in there. If you don't like that, you can always go back to the edit menu, choose undo scatter, and you can go to the paintbrush tool, double left click on the icon to open up the options, which are very similar to the pencil tool we saw earlier. And that's really only in terms of the structure of the path that you create as you click and drag with the mouse. The big difference between the pencil tool and the paintbrush tool is the artwork that's applied with the paintbrush often is far more complex. And I click and hold down the mouse and drag and create a wavy line through here and let go. So you can add as many of these as you wish to really, dragging across here. If you wish to change the appearance of them, I'm just going to go back a couple of steps, undo and undo, switch to my selection tool, hover over a region where that path is. When I see it highlight on screen, left click to select it. You can also go to the brushes panel, hover over the brush itself. This pretty much only works with a scatter brush, but left click on it and you'll get a different random uh, version of your stars or whatever the appearance of your scatter brush artwork is until you get to an appearance that you feel is a little bit better. Click away from there. And then you'll notice that I can also go back with the direct selection tool, hover over the path, left click, and I get access to the anchor points. I can drag and pull those around, edit the handles and manipulate it just like any other path as well. So scatter brushes are applied to a path with your paintbrush, or they can be applied to a selected object, but they're really handy.